Hi, this is Domo, Riley, and Rob at No Fun Club, a recording studio in Winnipeg, Canada. Being a recording studio that champions the use of tape, we wanted to make a video that shows how tape recording actually works. Um, not only does recording to tape sound awesome, it's also a very cool process that's quite a bit more flexible than people tend to think. In this video, we'll address some of the common misconceptions about recording to tape and hopefully show you guys how fun it is. Take it away, Riley. We have 24 and two track tape machines at No Fun Club, meaning you can record your project with all its different tracks separately onto the 24 track machine. And once you're done, mix it down onto the two track for a final stereo mix. We offer studio tape at No Fun Club. So if you don't have it in your budget to purchase a reel of tape, you can use the studio tape. We can reuse this tape later and it'll always be free and included with the rental of the space. And no fun club, if you want to, you could do a whole album beginning to end with all analog equipment. You don't have to touch a computer. We also have great computers and conversion, so going back and forth between digital and analog is real easy. Hello, we are normal people who have found you on the internet. We, we are not robots. robots. Nah, 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 nah. We have some questions about the recording to tape. Isn't recording to analog tape hard? You might not be able to stitch as many takes together with tape as you would be able to with Pro Tools. But as long as you're reasonably prepared, recording to tape isn't hard at all. And most of the techniques that we're used to from recording on the computer actually originated with tape and consoles. What about recording multiple instruments separately? Can I do that? There seems to be a bit of a misconception with recording to tape that you're committing everything to a final mix. But just like with digital, you can record lots of different mics on different sources and have control to mix them later. What about laying down bed tracks at home? And playing over that at the studio? It's actually really easy. You just bring in the files that you recorded at home, plug them into the gear we have here, and we'll record them onto the tape machine. Then you can play along. How about using a click track? Ditto with a click track. It's really easy. You could just plug in your phone and record a click track from there. And if you don't have a phone. Can I do overdubs and punch ins? You can do overdubs. You can do punch ins. You can record multiple takes to different tracks and mix them together later. Let's show you how it might work. Sounded pretty good, Riley. A little sloppy in the second verse. Let's try that one more time. But oh, wait, does that mean I have to do the whole thing again? No, we can just punch you in. Wow, 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 incredible. Hoorah, wow, yes. Wow, amazing, wow. Sounds good. Amazing. Yeah. Is that keys? I love this music. Wow, such a good demonstration. Wow, 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 wow. This sounds so dang nice. I really love this song. I love this music. I am in love with this groove and this tune. Thanks for your love and your time. This is a great musical time. Can we also do mixing on tape? Yeah. Once you've recorded all your tracks to the 24 track tape machine, you can use all the analog equipment at the studio to bounce down to the two track machine. Okay, but doesn't tape take a long time? We calibrate the tape machines before each use, but it doesn't take too long. <laughs> Isn't recording to analog tape expensive? I'm just a normal human who wants to record my band and or musical project. Our studio tape will always be free for those who want to use it. We'll just reuse the tape later. Now if you want to keep the tape, we'll sell you the reel at cost. The important thing is, at the end of your session, we'll give you a copy of your recordings in whatever format you need. Okay, so will I need to reduce the number of tracks in my song? To fit onto the tape machine? Sort of, 
but most songs can fit on 24 tracks. Nowadays, we're used to unlimited track counts on the computer, but many of these tracks end up getting muted or really combined into one track. So you can make these decisions in recording or in getting ready for mixing. Recording to tape can help keep you focused on your song, moving forward and making decisions, not lost in a sea of tracks staring at a computer screen. But what if I like staring at a computer screen? Well, that's okay, because we also have super fast computers at No Fun Club and really nice displays. Oh, wow. In fact, working in a hybrid of digital and analog is really easy here. You just switch around these connectors on the back of the patch bay and you're good to go. So now I'm playing audio from the computer and all the tracks are going through the console where Rob's mixing them with the faders. He can add sends or do EQing. So this way I can apply processing in the computer or in hardware. You can do whatever you want. Okay, we are leaving now. Why don't you just tell everyone about tape? Since you like it so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. So recording to tape has a sound, but it's also a workflow. It's going to change the way you feel and the decisions you make while recording to it. It might not be for every project, but we feel like everyone should try it at least once.